I was raised in the uh, rural South, and uh, growing up, uh, we were sort of, you might consider us uh, country people. And uh, my parents, uh, the two of them, I think they, uh, they created uh, an environment for us uh, boys that uh, was, well, it made for a happy, uh, happy childhood. And it also contributed to, uh, to our, uh, I guess, uh, creativity. My parents were both creative people. They were both uh, artists in their own right. Dad, uh, Dad was a cabinet maker and, uh, and uh, did, well, a wide variety of things, but uh, eventually settled on furniture making and that sort of thing. And, uh, and Mom, she, uh, she did a lot of painting, and um, um, she was sort of the, the decorative side of the, of the, uh, the couple. And uh, so they, uh, they encouraged us as boys to, uh, to do uh, uh, things that were creative also. Uh, I was constantly painting or carving or, you know, sculpting or, uh, and then, of course, eventually that translated into what I uh, ended up doing for a living for a long, a long time. I, uh, I did a combination of, uh, well, stained glass and jewelry making and decorative iron work and, and, and just about anything that uh, struck my fancy at the time that was creative. And uh, that was probably an offshoot of uh, growing up in my parents' house because that's uh, largely the way, uh, the way mom and dad uh, conducted things. Uh, there was always something going on, always something uh, to be made or to be decorated. And we talked among ourselves about things that uh, I guess the average family wouldn't talk about because we, uh, you know, we were concerned with how, you know, how artistic something was or how uh, you know, nicely uh, put together a project was and that sort of thing because the stuff we did, of course, was all you know, handmade. So it, uh, it made for a good childhood, and I think it's probably the thing that uh, uh, more than anything molded me into the style of, uh, of artist that I am, you know, I am today.